of people who are hurting. And we're more susceptible than most to fear and suspicion, especially when we hear loaded language and shocking allegations levelled at someone we trust. Though I need to keep my Twitter feed clear of negativity for my own mental health, I refuse to cancel or shun those who were coerced into cancelling or shunning me. So when all this is over and the dust has finally settled, I promise you my hand of friendship if you want it. In the meantime, you can all look forward to more content in the weeks ahead. It might not be at the same frequency or intensity as it was before, but there's an abusive cult out there that's destroying lives. And I'm more determined than ever to keep exposing it no matter what. That's all for now. And as always, thank you for watching. You know, the worst thing is being in a mind-controlled religion and taking advantage of people. People are not allowed to ask questions, not allowed to respond. They have to do what the cult or the organisation tells them to do. And that is the same with this person, that you are not allowed to criticise him or say anything because everything with this man is perfect which we can see that it's not but he likes to take advantage of other people he likes to use similar watchtower mind control of other people to control them to give him money the watchtower does exactly the same thing which he learned from them. The watchtower causes disunity and controls people and so does this person cause disunity within the ex-witness community and we're going to stamp it out. We're going to sort it out and have the power to speak up. Why? You say, why? Do you keep going on about this certain person? Because of what he said about people who really care about looking and caring about vulnerable people that come out of the Jehovah Witnesses and are that need help. They don't need people asking them for money for their own purposes and not really wanting to help. So he's starting his own religion. Exactly what the Watchtower does. And the seven people that he's causing problems with is not going to carry on. It's not going to go on. You're going to call him out. He can do what he wants. But we're going to stand up for Kimmy, for Mike and Kim, for Mike and Cora. Because I imagine that Mike and Cora stopped doing videos because of this person. And other people have stopped doing videos because of this person. And so we're going to call him out. We're going to warn Jehovah Witnesses that they would be better to go to other channels. So that they're not being emotionally abused. He can't exactly now stand up and help and defend child abuse or rape can he what can he actually do Kaioki with a watchtower in Thailand we just had enough of it we've had enough of his bullying and his causing disunity and then turning around and saying oh you're wrecking my reputation he put his own reputation online by the emails that were sent out to his wife. He put his own reputation online by what he said on YouTube, which is still there and still recorded, 
No, no, no one else said it. He said it. So, so what you reap. I'm going to be careful, be careful uh, what, I, what say I say here. here. This, this person, person everyone, everyone knows who this, this person, person is, needs, needs to stop causing problems, problems in, in the community. community. The vulnerable, the vulnerable and the emotion of those people.